I'm just at Loudham's in Nottinghamshire. Um, it's no reason I'm particularly here except my motorhomes here, but I just want to show you the quality difference between a couple of motorhomes that I've noticed. Now, this one's a Mercedes. Obviously, it's going to be good. 80,000. This is the new Swift. Um, don't know how much it is. It's going to be touching 60. So there's about 20,000 difference in between. Just let me walk you around and show you. So, straight away, I can notice, look at the sealant, where the white cab joins the other cab. Just look at it, what a mess. So, it's not bad along the top of the screen, but what is this? Also from down here, look at that distortion on the sunroof front edge, tipping up on one side. But, let's carry on. Right, sealant joining the cab here. Sorry, it's a bit juddery. Got my dog with me. This is sealant that joins. Uh, most cheaper, and I say cheaper at 60 motor homes, use that. It's not bad on this one for Swift. But look at that. What's that all about? What a mess. Right. They've got a seal along the bottom edge. Side seems okay. But this wheel arch has got a gap at the front there. You might think it's nothing, but wait till we get to the other side. They've also put a screw in it, and that's a new design, because they keep coming off, I think. So, we'll come round. It's also got a gap at the back, look. It's only a small thing, but there you go. So, again, sealant. There's a hole there. This is brand new. Look at the state of that. That's disgusting, £60,000. Just before I leave this side, I'll just show you this um, side light. The yellow lights, that, like we call them running lights, side lights, marker lights. That's a good one. That is absolutely straight. Wait till I get around the other side. So we'll go around. It's got a bit of a garage, this one. <laughs> Looks okay. Door's not very flush though on this edge. It's flush here, look. Look how flush that is. And it's sticking out at the top. That's just poor manufacture, that is poor design. So we'll go round. Side seems okay. There's a few major problems. Sealant this side's not too bad. This must have been a Thursday night, the other night was a Friday night. But again, this door, hmm, it's not perfect. It's me being picky, but there you go. Look at the gap on this wheel arch. But have you noticed? This one's got a seal on it, the other side hasn't. I, I don't really know why that is, whether they've missed it, but uh, for whatever reason. Quite nice, seal comes down, fits it nice, covers that gap up. Sealant's a bit of a mess here, look at that. Don't know what they've done there. Round to this side again, look. It's not clean. But look at this. Look at this Marcus light, tilted into it, it's tilted down. The other one's level, this is tilted down. Again, that's poor. I'm just gonna walk away a bit. I don't know who's put this freestyle badge on. It's probably Loudon's. This isn't level, look at the state of that. That's mad. Also, Loudon's haven't put the awning light on Swift Ave. That's not level. I know you're going to think I'm a bit odd, but I was a quality inspector at Toyota. None of these things would have got out of the factory. Now, I do pick on Swift a bit because I've got one. I've had loads of problems with it. But just as a comparison, just show you the Mercedes. Where it joins the body, it's a seal lock. It's a proper rubber seal all the way. The seal joins the top. Let's have a look at the door. Oh look, there's a lovely seal in there, plus matches look all the way up. Levelness is the same, it's got a cover above the door to stop the water coming in. Clever this is, it's got a gap for when the body moves. So look at that seal all the way along, there's no sealant, there is a little gap there look, I'll give them that, but it's actually a small seal that goes all the way along. And then what they do is they leave a gap for when you're driving, so when the body's moving, they leave a slight gap. That's a brilliant idea. Bear in mind this one's about £20,000 more. 
Again, the door has a seal all the way around it. Nice and even, nice and matching on both sides. Nice seal around the edge. Again, it's a seal, not sealant. It's all more money. It's not perfect here. I'm not sure what they've done there. They like a little bit of overspray, but that's actually a little foam seal near my finger lock just to leave an actual gap. So uh, there you go, really. Just look at it. The quality is stunning. Another, it's sealed again around here. Nice cobweb. Uh, just one thing that I've noticed on some motorhomes, Swift especially, when it's raining, or when it's been raining and I move off, the water pours in the window. So look at the design, the water can only run down and through your window. What Mercedes have done, put a little bulge or a cut in the side so the water comes down the front and comes down onto the windscreen. That again, just a design just a better design feature so uh, I know it's a long video I know I'm a bit weird I'm a quality inspector at heart and it just destroys me to see us paying between 60 and a hundred thousand pound for these things and it's not just Swift there's so much poor quality out there it's unreal but please look at all this stuff when you're buying your motor owns don't be led by that looks pretty because Swifts do look pretty a lot of them do have a look at the detail. You're spending a lot of money. Really research and get it right.